Make up a church of yellow, so bully, make up a church of yellow, so bully, the God play on your cheek, so bully, the God you on your cheek, so bully. Hello and welcome back again to my channel. Today I share with you this new way of making Ghanaian dry buffalo or puff puff recipe. With no egg and milk, you can achieve this deliciousness. If you are new to my channel, hello, this is Cooking with Effia. I do share amazing recipes right here. So if today been your first time on this channel, do subscribe and be part of this beautiful family. Now let's dive right in. In my mixing bowl, I'll go in with my all-purpose flour. I'll be listing the quantity and ingredients in the description box for you to check it out. Next, I'll go in with some sugar. The sugar, it is to my taste. If it's less, you can add in more, okay? Moving forward, I'll go in with some salty taste and also some nutmeg. Now, for the flour, you can use plain flour or self-raising flour for this. Whilst that is done, I'll stir everything together very nicely until all the ingredients are well incorporated. Whilst that is done, I'll go in with some vanilla essence. You can use any flavor of your choice. Next, I'll go in with some salted butter. Use unsalted butter if that is what you have. Alright, so next I'll go in with my clean hands and I'm going to mix the butter very well with the flour until everything is nice and well incorporated. And whilst I'm mixing the butter with the flour, I'll also go in with some turmeric powder. Alright, so whilst that is going on, I want to use this opportunity to thank you all my returning subscribers and new foodie members right here. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for liking my video, sharing, also commenting on my videos. Um, I am very grateful. Thank you so much for doing that. Next, we're going to activate our yeast. So I'll go in with about one and a half tablespoon of yeast and also half tablespoon of sugar i'll stir everything together very nicely and i'll go in with some lukewarm water always remember not to use hot water lukewarm water is perfect okay give it a good mix cover it and allow it to prove for about five to ten minutes and after 10 minutes the yeast has really proven very well so i'll add it to the flour i'll stir everything together using my hands and i'll also go in with water little by little until i achieve the perfect consistency that i want whilst that is going on if you haven't still given this video a thumbs up yet baby what are you waiting for can you give this video a thumbs up also share this video to your lovely friends and family for them also to enjoy this amazing recipe as well thank you so much for doing that all right so now after achieving the perfect consistency like this i'm going to knead this on my working surface for about 10 to 15 minutes just the way you see it on your screens right now until it's nice and very soft and very stretchy if you have a machine mixer it works perfectly fine no need to stress yourself okay you also need to dust your working surface so that the dough will not be sticking on it okay Now, after kneading the dough for about 10 minutes, this is how it turned out. It turned out very soft and very stretchy. So next, I'm going to place this in my bowl, cover it and allow it to rest for about 30 minutes. And after 30 minutes, the dough looks extra, extra soft. As you can see, <laughs> I'm going to remove this from the bowl once again. And this time around, I'm going to cut it according to how I'll mold it. 
If you are making this for business purposes, I would advise you to measure it or you cut it accurately to get the perfect sizes that you're looking for, okay? Next, we're going to mold our dough into a round shape just the way you see it on the screens right now also make sure to seal it very nicely so that it won't open in the frying process so now let's repeat this process until everything is nice and ready while that is going on if you haven't still subscribed to the channel yet can you do subscribe to the channel because it is absolutely free thank you so much for doing that all right so we're going to dust our baking tray with some all-purpose flour while that is done i'll place my both loads on it i'll cover it and keep it in a warm place for about 30 to 1 hour to double in size very well all right so after one hour of resting the dough this is how it turned out it turned out very perfect and very presentable if you don't want yours to become more yellow like this you can reduce the quantity of the turmeric powder and you are good to go trust me on this one all right so next we're going to heat up our cooking oil which we're going to use to fry this puff puff i'll be using vegetable oil to fry this puff puff use any oil of your choice i'll allow it to heat up a little bit but not too hot and afterwards i'll drop in my buffalo dough i'll fry on low medium heat until everything turns into the perfect golden brown color that i'm looking for so i made a mistake by overcrowding the spot if you really want your puff puff or buffalo to really comes out very big and very round then you need to give the puff puff extra space i mean i should have added three or four to the pots and that way the puff puff will have itself to really move around in the oil very well so kindly note it but all they say remove i just love the outcome as well okay <laughs> so now let's fry until everything turns into the perfect golden brown color that we're looking for remember to keep an eye on it and check it from time to time it's very very important now if you haven't still given this video a thumbs up yet baby what are you waiting for can you give this video a thumbs up also share this video to your lovely friends and family for them also to enjoy this amazing recipe as well thank you so much for doing that all right so as you can see after five minutes of frying it it's nice and ready i remove it and fry the second batch as well let me also know in the comment section what you think about this ghana dry buffalo without egg and milk you will love this and so all you have to do is to trust the process all right so now let's see the goodness in this buffalo as you can see the inside and the outside looks very soft and that's just one thing i love about this recipe i hope you're going to try and you're going to love it thank you so much for watching this video to this point and if you enjoy to this point that means you are always a proud foodie member can you do subscribe to the channel and be part of this beautiful family thank you so much and kindly stay blessed bye Mega family, let's have an amour, that ain't a hope when I see you.